me and it's time to go crispy tucker back with another video as you can see here we finally have them out of the shipping box my dodo hate dodo scale by prime one studio the ultimate premium master line oh my gosh i actually got the deluxe version which you can see you might be able to see here it's like a plated sticker it's so freaking cool there's two boxes i am standing right now and they are both stacked on top of each other as you can see it's almost my height and i'm five seven i'm pretty pretty tall but I am so, so excited. This is my first ever licensed scale. I've never had a licensed scale. All my other ones are unlicensed. Um, and I, this might be the best resin in my entire collection that you guys have seen so far. Um, it is also the most expensive one I have had so far. Um, <laughs> I might, I don't know if I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> I am just so, amazed i just I, i've seen pictures and it just looks so cool i love dota hey dota one of my top 10 favorite animes of all time so far and i just love nikaido or nikaido kaiman i'm really cross my fingers when season two is released because it is announced and it was oh, i just can't wait um for need and um knowing sheen i really 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 want a resin by them and I hope Prime One Studio will pull through so I can have them with them but I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the box art because the box art is honestly the best box I've ever seen um so this is the smaller one the bigger ones on the bottom they are both really heavy as you can see here on the sides we have the um illustration art here of them here and then this is the back side I just love how colorful and kind of like psychedelic it looks it's so freaking cool and as you watch the anime in the opening especially you know how crazy it looks it's just it's just so awesome then we have precautions disclaimers and it just looks so cool the bottom box is the same the same kind of thing going on um they're not showing you the dx version on the box but again i do have that approval sticker on the bottom and there's an approval sticker on the top of a DX version I got. This is number 63 out of uh, 150. They only made 150 pieces, which is insane. I think that's some, like, that's hardly anything compared to all the other ones I've gotten. Like, a lot of the other ones are like 500 or four or even more. So this is really, really limited. So it's crazy how I got my hands on this. I'm so happy with Prime One Studio being patient with me and making our payments. <laughs> but anyway, um now that we got the introduction out the way, let's get this out the box we're gonna start with the smaller one then work our way to the bottom i'm pretty sure this one is the base at least i'm assuming i really have no idea i've never had resins come in two boxes before everything's only one giant one so we're gonna figure this out together so let's get on to the unboxing also i want to know i'm recording here and there and there and here and here and there so if you see color change, that's also because I'm using my Samsung Galaxy, but I'm also using my Sony uh, ZV-E10, I think, this camera. Oh, this is my phone. So I'm going to try mixing it up, getting better editing quality for you guys. So, yeah. I probably should have grabbed some scissors. I didn't grab any. Oh, the box is so freaking pretty. Yeah, I need tape. Oh. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing out. Okay, hang on. I was not prepared. You think, again, you think I'd be an exact expert. I always forget something. I'll be right back. I need a knife. This is bullshit. Take one. I got one, I got one. <laughs> okay, we got a knife. I'm actually gonna take this off of here. Oh, this comes with handles to lift it up. That is so handy. Oh, but it's so heavy. I really don't want to destroy this box. I feel like I am going to destroy this box. If I can just...
got it. I love how there's candles for it. There's a lot of tape too. I hope I have it facing the right way. We have Gyoza Fairy, 63, Edo 150, that's crazy. Okay, I ended up doing it the wrong way though, so I think I'm just going to take this out, put it on the pedestal over there, and we'll do that. Sorry, camera, you're hitting my backside. Oh my gosh. Oh, that barely fits. That's insane. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. Oh, I love all the little Easter eggs. That's so cool. The base is awesome. Is the. Oh, he's not there yet. Okay. We have. um. God, what's his name? What's his name's mask that died in the first episode? Dude, that's all the goo and grime and the ripped and oh, it's just, oh, it's so cool. Okay, so uh, there's no instructions in this box, so I'm assuming the instructions are in this one, the main box. So we are going to take the pieces out of this. I don't know where to put them on the base yet. But the keyholes are pretty big, so it probably shouldn't be too bad. Let me pick up my garbage. Bro, if this base is this big, just wait till the scales. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I'm talking to both of you guys. Um, they are one-fourth scale, so they're going to be massive. And I am so, so excited to get them on this base. This base is humongous. It doesn't even fit this. Let me... I should have got my... Actually, I have a measuring tape. How long is this base? We have almost 20 inches. That's insane. Maybe like 19, like maybe for 19 and a half, something like that. That's like crazy. This thing is massive and it's heavy, heavy. Okay, anyway, I'm just, let me just get the rest of these pieces out. I'm gonna need the space to open the other one. So I'm just gonna take this half of styrofoam, put it over there. Cause I need the instructions. I don't know where those pieces go just yet. So I'm gonna open the other box now. Oh, okay, yeah, instructions right on top. Oh! And we get a catalog. So these are instructions upside down. We have the instructions here. Doesn't look too crazy. The DX parts, I love how fast forward, not fast forward, but clear it is. I love that. That's better than all the other companies so far. And you get a Prime One catalog book. So it's like all their other resins they've had. I really need, I'm definitely getting their Berserk ones. I wanted the Devil May Cry ones too, but man, I have no space. <laughs> oh, the Berserk. I wanted his, oh, this one. His one-third scale. I really want this one of guts. 
This is just the best. I love cuts. Okay, so instructions we'll put here. Okay, let's see if I can even lift this one up. Like, I'm really trying my best not to damage the box. I really, really like the box. but this is really heavy left above. safe to put that on there but I'm gonna do it Ooh, okay oh this is oh I think this is two layers there's two layers of tape oh why did I put that knife oh god I lost the knife I lost it in this madness god I'm sweating it wasn't even hot in here. It wasn't even, it was like 65 degrees and it's almost 70 in here, jeez. Okay. Am I cutting? I'm not. I'm cutting through the styrofoam than I am the actual tape. So I have to be super careful. So because I got the DX version, I did get this extra faceplate, which is his mask. Bro, that's so sick. Look at this. Look at his like his texture on the reptile skin is so crazy. And you actually can see through the mask. Like his eyes through it. That's crazy. Okay. Primal Steel's already outdone themselves and nothing's even put together yet. Ow. Oh gosh, I picked up by the thorn. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. Oh, we have him smiling. I love that texture and detail with his tongue and his teeth. And I love how, because he is a lizard, he has no ears, but you see like the hole there where his ears would be. Other tile, that is so cool. Look at that. I freaking love this. Okay, so there's one more face plate. Which is his close smile face. Oh, he is so cute, Kaimon. I love him. Look at that smile. You can't say no to that smile. He is so precious. Bro, look at that. You can't say no to that. He is so cute, Kaimon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for Nikaido. He is massive, massive. So, okay, so I'm assuming uh, Nikaido's underneath this layer. So I'm going to cut the... Next layer. Oh, there's pieces over here too. I have to be careful to lose that. I keep opening it upside down, which is very scary. So I gotta be super careful. Bro, he's humongous. That's insane. I didn't I knew there were one fourth, but I, every time I say like get a one fourth, I never expect it to be as big as it is. 
like when it comes. Like one fourth scales are humongous and I always forget that. I think it's because I haven't been buying like one fourth bunnies in a long time. So whenever I get something that's one fourth, I'm like, holy smack, it's so big. <laughs> and then I forget. Well, that's normal. Like if you guys collect bunnies, you already know, but that's pretty normal. And ton more pieces here. Ooh, they kind of know. You want to see your body? Ooh, they got her skin tone so well and her shoes. So we have her body here. She looks crazy good, guys. I love that. She looks so clean. Let me see her face. Where is her face? Oh, here. She, I like how, and also, I'm not gonna take this part out yet. But I love how they kind of copied the manga illustration more when it came to making the resin. Because in the anime, they did a really good job you know, animating her because it is a uh, CGI and it's also 2D. It's like a switch of the two. But the CGI in Dora y Dora is very, very good. And I feel like the expression they have right here is really based off of the manga. And it's just, to me, it captures her perfectly. I love that so much. Okay, so is this one her mask? Yes, her mask. She looks so sick in her mask. I remember when I first watched her, I was like, whoa, dude, that's crazy. And we have her mask version. She is so cool, dude. She's so badass. The kind of like one of my, there's a lot of good females in Dora Hey Dodo, so I really am happy I got, got that. Okay, so that's just, again, the, um, I have a lot of more DX pieces. I'm sure you guys the comparison of the two, but I'm going to now start putting all this together because I have a lot to do. I'm gonna first, I think, put them without the expressions, like without the mask, and then we're gonna go from the um, smiling face plates to the battle mask face plate. So we're gonna do that first. So let's go start building them. And we finally got them all put together guys. I am so blown away by the amazing detail these two have. 
Prime One Studio has absolutely outdone themselves and I am so happy to have this resin in my collection. These resins are honestly a masterpiece and I'm so, so, so happy. Let's do a quick review of all the details. So the first thing I like to note is the Gyoza falling on the Kaido's knee. That Gyoza fairy trying to catch, it is magnetic, but just the overall detail with each Gyoza is phenomenal. It looks like a real Gyoza with all the folds, even the shading. It looks like it's been cooked and fried. It's just, it's so freaking detailed it's so amazing i love nikaido's smile her big bright smile i also love the amazing detail with the base there are so many easter eggs that go throughout the show with the hungry bug doctor's uh human face skin door in the back of the base there's just so much detail going on and i just love how dirty and grimy they got the base to look, which is the exact world they live in. Dirty and grimy called the hole. And I just think Prime One Studio has captured it so well. They picked the really good details that I think make Dora Hidoro amazing. I love how just humongous this is. They are one fourth scales. And it's just, I forget how big a one fourth scale can be. The amount of quality they've put into this, you can tell that Prime One Studio is really working hard on their resin. And this is one of their older pieces. I am so surprised and I'm so excited just to see what their newer pieces will be. So this is them with the deluxe version and I must say I am so impressed. This is real chain by the way that they have the kettle's hook that she's holding. And just amazing sculpting, amazing folds with the uh, their clothing and just the masks. I really think it's worth getting the deluxe version because their masks are honestly so cool. And the masks are very important in the show as well. So it's just to me, it just made sense to pay that little extra. I love how Nikaido has her hair pulled back on her bangs and we have her hair in a ponytail and this the every everything the coloring and the folding and i love the detail with um kaimon his gear and the knives it's just spot on just like the manga just like the anime and i think prime one studio could not have done it any better these two are honestly a masterpiece and honestly to me that justify the price i have paid and i am so excited to see what else prime one studio will put out this is my first license and i don't think it will be my last Nissan, so we're back. We have them all together. I'm on my knees here because standing just won't work for camera shots. They are too big, and this room is just there's so much stuff because I haven't finished unboxing everything. So I'm on my knees for this part of the video, and I'm in there. Oh, you could see how big they are, and I'm still on my knees. I was not expecting to prime one to blow like the park with this. This is absolutely insanity. How crazy this looks this is definitely now my favorite resin out of my entire collection and I never really knew the difference between licensed and unlicensed scales or resins I mean and there's a huge 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 difference of course in the quality for a licensed scale just the overall detail of their clothing in itself has beaten like majority of the resins that you guys have seen previously in other videos and prime one i know there's a lot of other um licensed studios out there but prime one to me personally has honestly outdone themselves i am so happy with how they captured kaimon and Nikaido. i think both of them look stunning i'm gonna keep them in their mask form because again that is a dx version i paid extra for that and i do want to showcase that because it is one of the best features that I think is in the with, that comes with the resin. I paid quite a bit for this. I know I am saying that I paid, I keep paying a lot, I said, but I did. I don't know, again, well, I probably will because we all know, if you guys know in the community tabs, I posted a vote um, of the next license scale I should order and we all won, uh, or the vote won was for Levi, also by Prime One Studio, the 1-4 scale, the Beast Titan versus Levi. That one looks absolutely crazy. And if this, the, I think that one is bigger than this, which is crazy to think about because I don't know where it's gonna go, bro. It's gonna be so crazy to get that one and put it next to this. I don't, I, did, I don't know, but we're definitely pre-ordering that, that um, Levi resin 
But this one's, they are the exact same price, I believe. This one was $1,899. And I think, and I'm pretty sure Levi is the exact same or maybe like a hundred more. I could be wrong. But yeah, I paid quite a bit. Um, I've never paid that much for uh, anything. Well, I lie. That's probably the third most expensive thing I've paid. But again, like I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep doing it unless they keep popping off bangers like that Levi and this, or like I said, if they do Sheena Noy. I am definitely, without a doubt, grabbing Sheena Noy. I know Prime West Studio is doing other things like Praise and Ween. Um, they have a few res or resin, but PVC scales that I've had my eye on and my wish list on MFC. So I'm definitely going to be getting some prison wing scales in the future. But resin wise, they've been doing a lot of stuff. They did, they announced the One Punch Man one, which has caught my eye. But again, I don't know how much that one is yet. Um, then they have, um, um, they've done some other ones. I can't remember all of the new ones. I know they did announce a lot of Berserk and there is one Berserk one I really, really want. I was saying in the last resin video and I will be updating that because I need to show you guys the new resins that I do have already ordered for the new people out there. But there's some other resins that are not, that are unlicensed that I'm keeping an eye on. But anyway, just, I think the overall sculpting, the detail, everything about this is phenomenal. It's a 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. A million out of a million. This is insane. This is top quality to me, and I absolutely love it. Again, I, I'm new to um, licensed resins, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be collecting because the price was way different with uh, unlicensed ones. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting a whole lot more of them, but you know what? If they are looking as badass as this, I am 100% going to be investing or keeping my eyes out because... I really, really love this. This is definitely the, the best present in my collection. If you are a Dota Hey Dota fan, this I feel like you have to have in your collection. It is a crazy detail, crazy sculpted. It's just the coloring and everything is perfect. I think the only thing, if I had to nitpick something, is the, the skin tone on Ikaido. The, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but from far away, she looks fine. But up close, when I was trying to get different shots for you guys, she looks a little more orange e tone. I know she is a bit more tanned than she than the other characters, like Noi and the other females. Um, but I don't know, for some reason, she just, the skin tone looks a little off to me. So, that's just, maybe I'm just being nitpicky. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with that. I asked my fiance, she thinks it's the same. She, her skin tone and she said her hair was a little bit um, different colored because Nikaido he cut, he cut, is like a bright blonde while this kind of is a blonde but it has a lot of shading so I feel like the shading kind of contrasts that blondness it kind of looks green in some lighting but to me I think her hair looks totally fine again let me know what you guys think in the comments but I absolutely love this resin I without a doubt am so happy I pre-ordered this I pre-ordered this back in 2022 a long long time ago and my order has just been held with Prima Studio so thank you Prima Studio for helping me get a hold of this I am so thankful to have this resin in my collection and I love it so so much I honestly truly truly love this resin it is amazing if you haven't watched Dota Hey Dota please go watch it it is only 12 episodes um you can watch it on Netflix I believe because I, I watched it when it was coming out I didn't watch it on Netflix but it is on Netflix last time I checked and even though it's CGI, not all CGI is bad. If you've seen Beastars, if you've seen anything like that, it is really good CGI to me personally. And it goes between drawing and CGI and it's not goofy, it's not wonky, it is really good for what it is. And it is by Studio Mappa, another good studio that has done a lot of good shows. So I think you guys should check it out. Unless you know you don't like gore. It's been a while since I've watched Ode Dodo, but it is gory. It's grimy, it's dirty, and it's just, the hole is a place you don't want to be. Literally, that's where, that's where they live. It's called the hole. But anyway, as you can kind of tell by the rest, you can kind of tell what type of place they live in with the refrigerator being all destroyed and the gunk coming out and just... It's just, it looks grimy and dirty, and they have captured that so well with this riser. And I am just so excited for season two, because season two is going to be amazing, even better than season one. If you've read the manga, you know. So if you, again, uh, like this video, please leave a like. Or if you enjoyed this video, excuse me, I'm sorry. When I get so excited, I get tongue twisted. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and a share. 
and let me know what you guys thought in the comments below i can't wait to unbox the rest of the resins we still have like four or five more um to be on their way they don't have any dates yet so i'm not sure when they'll be announced all the new people that's been popping up so thank you guys so much for tuning in for this amazing unboxing and i can't wait to show you guys the rest of the stuff we got coming and i'll see you guys in the next video